You are about to see something. The webcams above Naples have never caught so clearly before. Sudden violent steam bursts ripping from the ground at Pisaiorelli, repeated rhythmic and growing. Right now, the fumarole field that locals have watched for decades is pulsing in a way that looks ordinary until you realize the pulses are not random they repeat. They spike right after tiny quakes, and the live images show steam jets punching the air with a force that rattles stones. Ask yourself, what happens when an ancient caldera hat has already surprised scientists begins to move in new patterns? If you care about real risk, for towns, ports, and history buried under Naples, you must watch this whole report. I'll show the footage, the hidden signals the seismograms reveal, and the one overlooked detail nearly every channel missed. The pattern that could mean a fast, unpredictable hydrothermal blast. Not in months, not in years, but within a short alarming window. Stay until the end. I'll map exactly where to watch, what to expect, and the one urgent step residents and responders must prepare for now. The live cams facing PCRLE recorded the first clear, repeated steam pulses that alarmed observers. A sequence of sharp white jets that rise, expand, then collapse. Not like normal passive fumarole plumes, but like short, forceful blasts. Those jets line up with tiny local tremors recorded in the same minutes. The pattern is unmistakable. A quick quake, then a steam burst, then a brief quiet. Over and over. This is the kind of behavior volcanologists call hydrothermal pulsing. High pressure steam or gas finding sudden pathways to the surface. Flashing to steam as it decompresses and creating a violent burst rather than a slow release. Seen on a populated caldera edge, this is not just spectacle. It's an immediate monitoring red flag demanding urgent attention. Why this matters? These pulses indicate pressurized fluids close to shallow fracture networks. When pathways open suddenly, energy releases can eject hot water, rock, an acidic condensation with no clear, long warning signals. Unlike lava-driven eruptions, these freedic or hydrothermal blasts are unpredictable and can strike without classic magma precursors. People can be harmed by scalding steam and thrown debris even if no lava appears. The recent webcam clips show repeated pulses in the same vent cluster, which suggests an evolving conduit system one that is being exercised by repeated overpressure and small seismic triggers. If you live or work near Pozzoli or use the coastal infrastructure, this changes the immediacy of preparedness. The hazard window has shifted from theoretical to active monitoring now. Beneath the steaming surface, seismographs tell the companion story, tight clusters of microquakes at shallow depths dozens to hundreds of tiny events over hours, concentrated where the webcam show the new pulses. Clusters like these are a classic sign of rapid fluid migration, pressurized pockets forcing their way through rock, creating many small breaks rather than a single large slip. This pattern is different from deep tectonic rupture. Hmm, it's a plumbing problem. And plumbing problems in volcanic systems often accelerate hydrothermal unrest before any large-scale magmatic movement. What scientists watch for next, changes in the rate, depth, and clustering of those quakes. If they trend shallower or larger in number, pressure is moving upward and the risk of sudden explosive steam release rises. Historical lessons show that repeated shallow swarms and growing fumarole activity can precede dangerous freedic explosions. Even when magma is not on the move, the hazard is real and immediate. This is not speculation. The data patterns we see now, webcams plus seismic clusters, are the same early warning signs recorded in several past hydrothermal blasts worldwide. Steam bursts at PCRLE didn't just grow louder. They changed direction, tilting slightly toward the Solfatara slope as pressure inside the hydrothermal system redistributed. 
thermal readings from recent days showed subtle but consistent increases, especially around the active fumaroles, where temperatures already push past dangerous limits. When scientists compared the latest webcam frames to last month, they noticed something unsettling. Each pulse was ejecting more vapor per second. Seismic logs added another clue. Microquakes were occurring in tight clusters, almost like the ground was breathing with every steam burst. These rapid pulses are typical when hot fluids try to carve new pathways underground, increasing instability near the surface. Residents living close to the crater describe the area feeling more restless, especially at night. Geologists monitoring the uplift around Pazuale confirmed another slight rise in ground level. Small, but steady enough to matter in a caldera under pressure. This uplift pattern has historically signaled fluid movement beneath Campi Flegre, often preceding bursts of hydrothermal activity. Webcam footage captured brief intervals where steam didn't just rise, it surged almost like the system was pushing back against the weight above it. Residents reported faint rumbling sounds near the fumaroles, short and soft, but repeating throughout the day. Hmm. Scientists describe these sounds as the voice of trapped fluids forcing their way through tight volcanic fractures. It's not eruption level activity, but it is a reminder of how sensitive this system is. If these rumbles grow louder or more frequent, would the next warning come from sensors or from the ground itself? Updated thermal maps from the PCRLE sector revealed a concentrated hotspot forming near the western rim, a zone that wasn't this active just weeks ago. Scientists noted that this area now emits higher heat signatures than the surrounding fumaroles, suggesting intensified fluid circulation beneath it. When they compared these values to last year, the spike was clear and impossible to ignore. Seismic sensors positioned along the fault lines detected sharper micro tremors aligned with this hotspot, forming a consistent pattern hour after hour. These tremors, though small, often occur when superheated fluids push into narrower rock fractures. Webcam observers spotted brief flashes of denser steam exactly above the hotspot during peak activity. If this heat patch continues expanding, could it reshape the entire pressure system beneath Pissirelli? Daily deformation scans picked up a subtle rhythmic pattern, a slow rise and fall of the ground that matched the timing of recent steam bursts. This pulse effect happens when pressure chambers deep below shift fluid back and forth like a natural pump. Experts monitoring Campi Flegre haven't seen this exact rhythm for months making today's readings stand out sharply. And the timing left analysts wondering, what is driving this synchronized pressure cycle? Acoustic sensors installed near the active vents captured short, high-frequency gas bursts that synced perfectly with the pulse. These are signs that the underground system is reorganizing itself, forming quicker escape routes for steam and gases. Locals walking near Sulfatara mentioned hearing sudden hisses, brief but more frequent than before. If this pulse strengthens, would it mark a temporary phase or the start of a longer hydrothermal shift? Gas sensors at PCRLE recorded abrupt spikes of CO2 and SO2 in short irregular intervals, the kind that indicate rapid vent clearing. These surges weren't present last week making today's jumps unusually sharp and tightly clustered. Webcams picked up fast-moving steam plumes right after each gas surge, proving the system is under active pressure cycling. Nearby instruments detected slight temperature rises inside the primary fumarole channel. Such paired gas steam pulses often hint at shifting underground pathways. If these surges keep intensifying, could PCRLE be restructuring its vent network in real time? A cluster of shallow microquakes hit the eastern flank near Solfatara, all under two Kamenets depth but unusually tight in timing. 
These bursts lined up with increased fluid movement recorded earlier in the day, forming a near-perfect sequence. The quakes came in waves, each lasting only seconds but repeating across the hour with increasing frequency. Some sensors even detected minor ground tilt shifts that matched the bursts. Webcam footage revealed a subtle yet sudden widening at the northern edge of Pisarelli's main fumarole. Thermal sensors confirmed the temperature in that zone, climbed by nearly 10 degrees C over just a few hours. Past episodes suggest that such expansions often indicate pressure redistribution underground. Could this be the start of a new vent forming, or just a temporary shift? Simultaneously, gas ratios of CO2 to H2S spiked unusually, indicating fluid pathways may be connecting deeper magma pockets. Seismographs recorded tiny, nearly imperceptible tremors right under the expanding vent. This didn't beat. Indies notes that similar events in 2012-2013 preceded minor hydrothermal explosions, though without eruption. What does this mean for nearby residents? And how prepared are local authorities if pressure escalates further? Pisarilla's hydrothermal behavior is now showing synchronized gas pulses, steam surges, and microquakes across multiple vents. This multi-signal alignment is rare and suggests underground pressure is reorganizing quickly. If you want to catch every update as webcams track Pisarelli in real time, Hit the subscribe button now. The next few days could reveal whether the system stabilizes or enters a new active phase.